Welcome to WMI TV News. I'm Laura Singleton. This news was driven to you by Horn Auto Center, the Chevy store that saves you more. Today's top story starts out on the Navajo Nation. Jonathan Nez, 43, has been elected as the youngest president of the Navajo Nation by nearly 40,000 votes, and that was reported by the Navajo Times on November 8th. Nez currently serves as vice president of the Navajo Nation and will replace current president Russell Begay. Nez and running mate Myron Lazare ran against longtime Apache County Supervisor Joe Shirley Jr. and his running mate Boo Nyan. Shirley is also a two-term Navajo Nation president who was endorsed by President Begay, who did not make it out of the primary. The general election results repeated the wide margins seen in the August primary. Nez had a substantial lead with 14,105 votes, while Shirley came in second with 6,947 votes. Now to Eager. The Eager Town Council held an open house for their newly elected members who were sworn in by Apache County Judge and Navajo County Supervisor Steve Williams. Don Davis, Reese Hetlock, and Marcia Tucker were sworn in as town council members. And Steve Earhart, re-elected to his third term, was sworn in as vice mayor. For more local, state, and federal election results, see your Friday, November 16th edition of The Independent. The Fort Apache Agency continues to conduct prescribed burning on the Fort Apache Indian Reservation. As of 30, Thursday afternoon, excuse me, a total of 2,519 acres had been treated. Burning will continue within the areas southwest of Honda, west of Cooley Mountain, and southeast of White River. Residents should continue to expect smoke in the vicinity. All prescribed fire activity will be carefully monitored. However, if you have any questions or concerns regarding the prescribed burning efforts, you can call Cande Lupe, Public Information Officer at 928-338-5425 or log on to the BIA Fort Apache Agency's Facebook page. Now to your weather forecast. Brought to you by Pediatric Multicare West, Dr. Vera Bennett and staff, where kids come first. Today, Friday, November 15th, will remain mostly sunny with highs reaching the mid-50s. Saturday and Sunday will also be mostly sunny with highs between 52 and 55 degrees. It will continue to freeze overnight throughout the weekend. More details on any of the news you've heard today can be found on our website, our Facebook page, or your Tuesday or Friday edition of The Independent. And remember, today's news was brought to you by Horn Auto Center the Chevy store that saves you more. Thank you for watching. I'm Laura Singleton.